Okay, and here I'm going to show you how to capture within PowerDirector. Once you open up the PowerDirector icon and click into the full feature editor, it'll take you into this. This will be the first screen you see. So what you'll do is you'll click under Capture. And right now it's going to search for the devices. It's going to detect that you have, well, right now a microphone. And then you click on this where it says Capture from a TV signal. Okay. So it's initializing analog device. Once you have this blue screen, this is the best sign because this means that the device is ready and waiting for video. Now down here, it's going to tell you where it's saving the video file to. Now before the recording, if you want to change it to somewhere else, like let's say you want to save it to your desktop or a specific video folder, you would click on this change folder uh, button and it would bring up this browser window. So here you can tell it where you want to save it to. Like let's say if you want to save it to the desktop, you click on desktop and then OK. And then all videos you create will be saved directly to your desktop. OK, so let's get started. We're going to go ahead and click on this uh, red button here to record. I'm going to press pr uh, play on my player and capture some video. OK, so here I'm going to show you how to go ahead and burn the video onto a DVD. I've already captured a portion of the video that I wanted. So I'm going to drag it down here to the storyboard. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Create Disk. OK, now here we are in the, in the burning menu. Uh, down at the bottom, it's going to show you how much space is available on the DVD, how much of space the video will take up. And let's say you don't want this Monopoly background. You just simply click on Menu Preferences, No Menu, Apply to All Pages, and you have your own basic DVD screen. But let's say you want a different type of menu, you could click on Download Template, and that would take you to a page where you can go ahead and download other backgrounds you'd want. But now let's get back to the burning process. You click on where it says Burn in 2D, and this window is going to come up. It's going to go ahead and list down your burner, uh, the disk name, that usually uh, doesn't matter, because that would only be visible to the player itself. And then you click on Start Burning, and that'll burn the video onto a DVD. Thank you for watching our software tutorial. I hope this tutorial helps you better understand on how to use the VC500 and the software that comes with it. If you have any questions or need anything else at all, you can contact us through our website.